7 and welcome back to some more Sims 4 here on the channel, but a new series. So by this point, there should have been a speed build of this and also a character creation of the character for this series. I am technically, I don't know exactly how far in advance I'm actually recording this because um, I recently had had like this uh, health thing going on, so I couldn't really do stuff for the channel, so... I'm behind a little bit on that, and I'm thinking I am going to have this start uploading after the Fame Trio ends. I've also been wanting to sort of rearrange my schedule a little bit, uh, and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that or what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know exactly when this is going to air, but I was actually really, really excited for this, so I wanted to go ahead and try to record it. And I actually haven't got to record anything, like record, record anything for a while because of my health thing. A lot of the other stuff that will be going up for a while is stuff that I actually recorded beforehand, and then... Uh, I just never got around to editing because of it. But anyway, so basically, if you watched those um, other videos like I'd mentioned, I did talk about it, and I would have actually went through the list of stages that I'm going to go through this challenge. Not in detail, but at least, like, mention the, uh, what each level is going to be based off of, basically. But I am, I, I am, for now, calling this the Female Gaming Legacy Challenge. And by that, I mean it's based off of female characters from games of my choosing. So I have completely made up the rules and things like that loosely based off of the characters. Or, well, not necessarily loosely, but I didn't want to include certain things that may be spoilers for certain games and stuff like that. So that's why I say loosely. So <laughs> whatever happens to them in this challenge may not be 100% reflecting of how they end up in their game, but it's at least close enough through the majority of the game that it's very fitting for the character or as fitting as I could be without spoiling. Also had to take the limitations of Sims into account as well and I will say some of these characters it was really easy to make their generation and the, what I have to do to complete each one and others were a little bit of a struggle but in the end I got it but I picked 10 females from games that I really really liked, game series I liked. There was some that I had wrote down, but I decided because of the ones, I basically wrote down a bunch of the characters, decided what aspirations would be best for them, <laughs> and like all this, like sort of in my head, what I could do, and then eliminated people from that list. Also, there's some characters that I would have loved to include, but either I haven't fully beaten their game, or like they're a part of a huge series, and I've only played like one game in the series, so I'm like, I don't, I would rather knows that I fully enjoy most of the series before I picked that character. So these are characters from games or series that I did really enjoy. So, that being said, we are on the first generation, and I will say I did not put the characters in any particular order. From, like, who was my favorite character or who was from my favorite game or favorite series. I did it based off of where I think I could connect them the easiest. So I basically was like, okay, this person could easily lead to this person, this person, and I just, I did a bunch of arrows, and then from there decided who was going to be beginning the story and where we were going to go from here. If that was true, I would tell you, like, if it was me picking my favorite game and series and stuff like that, more likely Zelda would be first, but Zelda is not. <laughs> so anyway, we actually are going to get started. Our first character I'm going to actually talk about, because I have them written down here, the first character we are going to be dealing with is Velvet. I am going to be naming like the one that is continuing the generation, the one that we'll focus on, because obviously they can have um, more than one kid, or at least some generations can have more than one kids. Um, so the one that I'm going to have continue there, I will actually still name after the character. But we actually have Velvet first, who I actually need to get inside here. I haven't got a whole lot of furniture, but yeah, this is Velvet. Um, from Tales of Berseria, Tales series is, like, a huge, huge, like, series that I love to play, and Tales of Berseria is actually on my channel, I've been playing it on here as well. So, she is the one starting off our generation here, and for Velvet, basically, uh, 
You are not happy with what you have become, but you are doing the best that you can to embrace it. You hope to teach and care for your children and stop what is going on with you from continuing with them. So basically, that is the fact that she is a vampire. So um, one of the things that happens in Velvet in her game, I thought vampire fit very well. But I'm going with the fact that this was forced upon her. She was not choosing to be a vampire here, so she doesn't really want to continue on vampire lineage and somehow I'm gonna to have to try to make sure one of the kids turns out a vampire and one of them does not so you know that's that's gonna be complicated but yeah <laughs> basically the aspiration is though master vampire because yeah you don't want to continue it on but you want him like be one she wants to be the best that she can in this like yeah she she has no choice like this is what she's done so she wants to learn how to deal with it how to how to master it and such and i also see a column i've been having issues with these stupid columns lifting up off the ground anyway i've been knowing that <laughs> traits that you have to have is hot-headed self-assured and family oriented the career is actually paranormal investigator, so I'm going to have a vampire paranormal investigator here. I actually am pretty excited about making that her career for the first one, because I actually haven't got too full with that too, too much. Um, but yeah, the goals are to complete uh, 10 expert level inv investigations. I don't know exactly how hard or easy that's going to be. Like I said, I haven't played it, but from what I've heard, that's why I chose to go with 10. Max the medium, fitness, and parenting skills. Must marry a human. Cannot marry a vampire. Or another occult. Has to be human. Human variety sim. Have one daughter and one son. Complete the master vampire aspiration. So we're gonna get on here. We have almost nothing in our house. I actually was trying to make sort of a starter home. Uh, um, I don't know if it's like the uh, wallpapering I chose to do throughout the house. I did also build this with CC in my game. Um, but yeah, there's not much in here. Uh, <laughs> it's basically the bare minimum I can get in here. So I need her to get in here real quick though, because I don't want her actually burning in the sun like day, day one of this challenge. <laughs> so yeah, uh, can you get in here, Velvet, please? So I will say this challenge, this this generation is gonna be hard just because we have no money to start off with. We have, we're a vampire, so we can't do certain things and I'm actually not gonna give her sun resistance. Um, if you wanna try to play along with this, uh, I didn't make it a rule that you had to give her sun resist, like you couldn't or could give her sun resistance. But um, I, you actually, she needs to pass away before the next gen female turns into a young adult huh. so my plans uh, is for her to die in the sun um <laughs> haven't fully worked out how that's gonna happen yet but um i'm sorry oh. velvet that's just how your life's gonna that's where the direction that your life is going but yeah they we have like nothing we have a couch to watch huh. tv i actually haven't got to play or test this because i don't know how the tv works in here i really hate that this window doesn't have like a thing in it that makes stuff click to it because that is like when I see these windows that's immediately like I'm like put things in it and for the longest like I was like why can't I put things in it? and you can't even put things from this side you have to go outside here to put things that's why I'm not sure if the TV is gonna work but I'm really really hoping that it's gonna work because oh I miss this thing well you know what this house is a work in progress anyway so yeah this save, though, is actually not one of my regular saves. I want- I downloaded two saves. This, I'm pretty sure, is a little Simsy save. I did start slowly going around to The Sims and adding, um, my custom content. Like, at least to the hair. Some of them I also gave skin details, just depending on what mood I basically was in when I did that. So, um, but over time, I'm going to slowly keep- fixing some of the sims because i was sitting there and i was like there's so many sims to fix up i only added a few of my sims partially because you get to see my sims and other things so i'm um, and also the chances of me running into my sims and potentially marrying every single one of them very low so i just i'm gonna add a few every once in a while as the generations go on and as time goes on but yeah i did at least edit everyone that lives in this neighborhood but there may be some sims that walk around with like normal uh, clay hair. Oh, she's one of them I changed. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a little, little Simsy save. I do know that this save did not have, um, what are, what are the names of them? Mount, 
I know I can't say that. I just I can't. Snowy Escape, and I don't remember the place that Eco uh, Lifestyle came from. They don't have any buildings and stuff changed for those, so. But that's fine. But I didn't want to like re like I didn't want to get my buildings reused because I don't have that many buildings comparatively. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want it to be like seeing the same buildings in every single. Uh, save that I potentially play in. So, yeah. But, we need one look. Oh, we need to use a, talking about a computer. Use a computer to search for information on vampires. So, since we're already at the computer. Uh, vampire secrets, search on information. Uh, and we also need to read an encyclopedia. So, there's that. Uh, also need to be getting on our career. Now, paranormal investigator, I'm pretty sure is... Freelancer, if I'm not mistaken. Because we need money. <laughs> the thing is, is like I don't have the medium skill, and I think that's what you need for the freelancer career. So can I I can't purchase the encyclopedia. Oh. She is looking bored with this research, not gonna lie. Um, also need fitness and parenting, so I'm not gonna worry about parenting too much. I forgot this wall here, too. What the heck is wrong with me? Uh, I'm not gonna worry about parenting, like, too much right away. We can potentially... I will say, isn't this skill one of the skills that actually goes to 15? One of the rare ones that goes to 15, the vamp vampiric lore... I don't have to max that one out anyway, so. At least I don't think so, unless I have to do it for my aspiration. Uh, I didn't put it in my list. So, do that. Oh, why can't I do this? Sagency requires a paranormal and investigator license to join talk to gildry on a haunted house residential lot to learn more additionally you can also purchase the license from the reward store so what do i need so if i go about it on the reward store there it is huh so uh <laughs> I don't think there's a haunted house anywhere because this save was before then oh. so there wouldn't be I might have to add one real quickly somewhere oh. so that I can get that because oh. she is so bored with life right now okay I can purchase this already I just want one because I don't I don't have a oh. lot of money I can't <laughs> I can't afford to be like. Oh. I guess I can see watch TV. So let's see if this works at some point. I don't know if she's gonna try to watch it while oh. she reads. That would be real distracting for me. I mean, she's already bored though, so you know I don't know if she's gonna make it through this book or not. So yeah, we either have to get enough rewards up, which I don't think this is gonna give me a whole lot of rewards. Uh, <laughs> or we have to go to a haunted house lo location, which I think maybe, maybe I'll real quickly, and I'll cut this out of the video, real quickly go play, like, grab a haunted house off the gallery and place it somewhere. Probably in one of the two places that doesn't have many builds. <laughs> so yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I don't know how that... The thing is, isn't Gildry again, I don't know, I haven't actually got to play play with this pack, but isn't Gildry the ghost that comes out of the painting? I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I don't think she can, yeah, she can't. Dang it! No! So that's annoying. She can't use that, so... Um, I guess I'll just delete the TV for now. Like, we have no point in having the TV. Ah. Uh, 
So, I could always turn my house into a haunted home, couldn't I? Isn't that a thing I can do? <laughs> so, there was a house here, by the way, that was uh, Little Simsy's that, cha that I changed, so. <laughs> so yeah, I changed it to a haunted house. Yeah, we are we are a vampire, so let's make it a registered vampire home. Should I make it spooky? I mean, I could, but I feel like she's gonna be scared all the time. And we're okay with vampires, because <laughs> we we are a vampire. I mean, yeah, we didn't necessarily want it to be this way, but <laughs> I don't know if I want to actually make it spooky or cursed because I'm already probably going to be getting effects of a haunted house anyway. So for now, I'll just leave it without this. We'll have the other spot if we want to try to change it. But if I make my house a haunted home and then go in and purchase stuff, can I ask him while I'm here? Is that a thing I can do? I have a very small house uh, right now. I'm going to add to it and stuff. I guess for now, I'll just put it into what's supposed to be my dining room. Um, I'd rather this way. Because I have the... No, that's also... That's brown, isn't it? And not black. Is that black? Is it one of those weird blacks? <laughs> no, that's brown. That's definitely brown. Alright, well, I guess I'll just have the same chair that's on my desk in there. Whatever. And then I need this. But I want it to be this color. Do I need other people or do I just need myself? <laughs> Let's hope I just need myself. And then... Yeah, so... What, and what is the difference in between post-mortem and... <laughs> like, can someone tell me? And then we're just gonna... I like move this over. And we'll put him here for now, but maybe afterwards, because this is not... I either move him somewhere else or maybe get rid of him, I don't know. But for now, I think I need him here. I don't know why ghosts would want to haunt my house. There's nothing here. <laughs> I say that in things like uh, abandoned homes and stuff like that that have nothing left in them typically are haunted. Oh yeah, we don't have... I still think she's holding it for some reason. Let me try to like... Oh no. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Put in inventory, please. <laughs> okay. So, this will at least help us since, since how haunted the current lot is. This will help us with our medium skill that we do need to maximize for this generation. So. And we need one of these anyway, but I was gonna wait. I don't know why I was gonna wait though, because I probably needed this very early on. But I don't have much room in my house right now. I wanted some money before Ooh. I expanded on it. But this, this looks weird. So, I am gonna put the walls back up. So, I have acquired the medium skill. Level to start her paranormal journey can continue, continue performing seances to level up. Level to take some happy haunts. The li living and the dead coexist in harmony. Well done, specters. Will be friendly. Paranormal activity is reduced. Okay. Cool. 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 I don't know. Um, what does this do? Perform a ceremony to make the house a little less haunted. Be warned. This ceremony drains Sim of their energy. Successful ceremonies, ceremonies also make Sims a little less scared. Commune with the departed. Would that get him? How do I get him? Orogabash walks with Bura. Do I view it? What happens? How do I do it? How does that work? I don't quite know. Palingo. Arnar. Lunch. I want to be able to see his if his starts. Do I have to wait for him to pop out, maybe? I do not know. But I probably should. Should I go and make some of the houses haunted? Technically, or will it just allow some of the houses to be temporarily hard haunted for my job? 
How's that work? Okay, we're almost done doing oh. this. Anzerpa. Hey. What was that? <laughs> it sounded sort of cute. That sounded like a cute ghosty. Hey, before you go. No! <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> hey, before you go, can you describe what ice cream tastes like? It's been... Oh. I don't know if Velvet's ate any ice cream either for a while, to be honest with you. Uh, it's so cute. I don't care what anyone says. These things are so... Adorable. What is this? Huh. Why would I want to drink that? Oh. I do want to move it, though. Can I move it? Oh, go. Can I just, like... Yeah. I'm gonna put it here. Spectre seems friendly enough. In fact, it might even be trying to help you. It's still kind of unclear, but they are certainly cute. They are cute! Oh, are we already trying to talk to it? <gasps> We're already trying to talk to it. She's like straight into like, let me talk to this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. Anyone says otherwise. Look at it. Did I make you angry? Should I have not moved the thing? Oh. Where'd it go? <laughs> Did he just decide to disappear? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need vampire training, but I don't know if I've seen any of the vampires out. What time is it? It's one. See, that's like one of the only things about vampires. Like, they can't come out at night, and they won't come out at night unless they get the sun. I mean, they won't come out in the day, and they can't come out in the day, unless they got the sun, sun resistance. But then your vampires who don't have the sun resistance can't go out and communicate it with them. But because most sims are not supposed to go out during the nighttime, you rarely see vampires. I need some training. I guess I could always go in, like, you know... Knock on my neighbor's door and meet them. Oh, look how nice their houses look compared to mine. Look at my little thing over here. Look, look at this. Look at this. This looks. <laughs> but yeah, so we do need to keep our eyes out though for uh other vampires, also humans. Oh wait, <gasps> he's back. <laughs> this is my only friend. Teru Ufa. Huh. Yeah, she's just going to talk to him on her own. This, this is my friend. Oh. <laughs> Are you a vampire? Stride. Okay. I was told that... Oh, that, there goes... That was definitely Caleb. Um, I was told that if I did not have the more club symbol that things would not work, but I thought I had it and they're still not working, so I may have to go re-download that. Um, anyway. By the- whoa, whoa, why, whoa, whoa. Spectre sprinkles. From being near a playful spectre. Whenever- I, whatever that spectre did, it sure feels good. Maybe spectres aren't so bad at- oh! Look at me, I'm all glowing. <laughs> I'm all sparkly. <laughs> Don't alarm. I mean, this this is another vampire, so I should be good. But Caleb ran by here. Yeah, but... uh, Are you in your dark form? I believe you're in your dark form. She. Why are we all bored? We're just all bored. All of us bored. <laughs> Everything's boring. Telegrow stroke. I don't know why I clicked Telegrow Stroke, but I just I wanted to go to funny so that maybe they'll they'll uh they'll laugh. And both of them will get out of this book. Back Caleb. Uh why did I click on that? Why are we not why are you on your phone? Listen, you're you're a vampire who's got the last name of Strahd. That's the only reason why I for surely know you're a vampire. Uh <laughs> But I, I need you to, like, you know... Alphonse or Fenaya? I need to be in a better emotional state. Uh, Dang it! Lena. Telephony Lena story. Shipping. Should I make a vampire pun? Will a vampire laugh at a vampire pun? Vampire pun. 
Actually, we both need to be like in a funny, funny fit. Like, Palink like we need to be better. Why are vampires always so tired? They're always dead on their feet. <laughs> Suggest fun activities. Maybe this will get rid of my bored thing. I need vampire training. I gotta sneeze. Give me hair. Okay. I sneezed. Three hours. You bad now. Yeah, real. Need more hay. Why are we all bored though? Why are we both bored? How is it that we're both bored? I don't have Sims bored like too too often. Not often enough to find two Sims bored at the same time. Why did it not? Tell a funny story. Ah, me. One, I didn't mean to click on that no matter my, no matter what. Two, you're not a human, so yeah, I can't marry you either way, so. Maybe you're not bored. So there's, there's multiple vampires running around very quickly. The other, I did see Caleb at one point, and I know he's still in this world. I think he's actually living in one of these houses, I don't I don't know which one is his though. I think she disappeared way too. Wait, wait, wait. One, what is that? Is that a pile of snow? Why is there just snow there? <laughs> Secondly, I thought I heard a vampire going, hey, hey, unless that's us. Are we doing it? No, we're still talking. Listen, this, this lady's bored, so I feel like. <laughs> and if I unpause it, they might like poof away in the mist form or, or I mean, you know, float away in the mist form or poof away in the bat form or run away in the runny form. You know, those things. I don't, why is there snow? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing any vampires though. I thought I heard one going, doing the hey, hey where they hiss, but uh, and it doesn't look like these two were doing it. So I'm gonna say that's a <gasps> my little ghost friend. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a no. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm just insane. Why is there snow? It's, it's, it's summer. <laughs> what, is, what is going on in Forgotten Hollow? Uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm insane. I'm hearing things, and there's no actual vampires other than us two. She's still bored. I'll make another vampire. Yes. I'm not. No. No. Come back. No. 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 I'm finally. I'm finally. I'm finally not bored. Hang out. Ask her to hang out. Yes. She's still bored though. Dang it. She probably won't teach me this. Hey, <laughs> Lenar. Wanna, wanna hang out? Wanna, wanna hang out? Hush. I'm gonna tell her a funny story. Listen, we don't want to go in my house. It's boring in there. So I have nothing. <laughs> Flash crazy eyes. I gotta get her out of this bored emotion. Who is it, Borb? I think. Grovel Nerks Yeah. What a farm! How do you say her name? Lekishnik. Leshkaya? Leshkaya? I don't know. I'm probably horribly butchering that because I can't pronounce everyday words, let alone names that I'm not used to. Varovi. Oh! Kisana Snake. I need to get her in a better mood. And my funniness is not apparently rubbing off on her. It's just not happening. <laughs> okay, she laughed. For Roby physique, fuzzoob. There was someone running. There was someone running. Oh, what time? Oh, we gotta go inside soon. Hurry. Cat pool. You probably a regular human, which means I need to be getting inside soon. <laughs> so maybe we'll just invite her around later, uh, since we're friends with her. Oh no! Now and maybe she'll be in a better we'll mood see. later. I don't. Don't slap her, silly. 
So far, we're not Probably burning to death. So. And we technically still had the board emotion. It was just my 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 playfulness just outweighed it. Eva, who is it? Borb. Tip tip. So maybe hers is about to run <laughs> I've been trying to get her to like. Oh, yeah. oh, she's gone. She's she's gone. It's like you see what time of day it is. We gotta go. Okay. Oh no, she came in my house. Still, you know what time of day it is. We gotta get inside. Please don't burn outside talking to my ghosty friend. Also, don't anger my ghosty friend. <laughs> this is my ghosty friend. Can I name them eventually? Like, is that a... Ooh. That were handmade with love. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh gosh, so cute. Can someone give me a plushie of the... Oh. Did you make him mad? Better not make him mad. Being mentored in vampire space. This also is gonna get this up and stuff, so you know that's nice. I'm right learning a little. What happened to my ghosty friend, by the way? Does he just go away during the. Oh, this is not glowing anymore. Does it glow when he's out, or does it? Am I supposed to drink that? Am I supposed to drink it? What? What? I have no idea. Who's gonna? But I'm being trained right now in vampire stuff. Who's so I'm apparently failing. <laughs> and she is done with training. She's had it. <laughs> no, she just wants to actually. Okay, I'm gonna do some dark meditation. Incredible. So that I can get this back up and also get a few of these. So that, you know, I need to increase my vampireness. <laughs> this is really fun and all, but I have to go. Oh. 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 Guys. Guys. This is a bad. We're all vampires. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> what? This looks like it's a welcome wagon, but a thing hasn't popped up. She's got fruitcake and there's people here, but they're all there. Oh, and that is. That is, uh. That looks like two angry ghosties. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> Botted Grabby? Yeah, oh, oh, Gibbs. Oh. Ha! <laughs> huh. We are now terrified. Ah, <sighs> uh, I uh, I need to like I I um uh uh <laughs> I hit. Must calm the spirits before I kill any vampires. <laughs> Apswars. Yes and our. If anyone wants to join me, feel free to. Oh gosh. Please don't burn to death because of ghosties. Who is this? Oh, that's Lil. Oh, does she have. She must have sun resistance. Oh man, they are so. They are so mad. They cute, but they mad. They so mad. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, what have we done? What have, e even even Vlad is terrified. Y'all chose a really bad time to come to my house. Y'all have angered the spirits or something. I'm also apparently sick. Oh no. <laughs> Botch ceremony for months. <laughs> Something ain't right. <laughs> from being near a haunted painting. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> ha! Huh. But they're still out here. Oh, 
What does this do? Could sell it to an otter drink collector? I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it for the first time and see what happens. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to absolve the problem and I failed. <laughs> I'm gonna drink this as I look at this. Like, totally normal what we're doing here. Oh, okay. Oh, hi! Parsikong Free Bay. <laughs> Hello! Oh, you'll <laughs> know. Oh. Caleb decided to come talk to me. Yeah. While I drink this weird drink. Don't judge me. I- what? Oh, party How have I reached, le reached level 2 of the gourmet cooking skill uh, from drinking it? Can oh, add Fanusa. Yeah. Tell a funny story. Why not? Vlad is terrified. He is legit terrified. Are these ghosts still here? Oh no, they're not. What the heck? Uh, Are you okay, man? <laughs> I guess I Larkin should, you know. Moosh. Himna Vazib. Ah, uh, gosh of uh, webs. Gorb. I just uh, want uh, to, like, greet new neighbor. Grovel nursery. Let me just greet all my neighbors. Oh, I can't greet new neighbor there. Uh, oh, but I entered, uh, yeah. Okay, I see. I just want to make sure that you know I start I start meeting a lot of the vampires. Oh, that is that is not what I meant to do. Oh no! Sorry about earlier. Uh, there are ghosts here, <laughs> little spirities. They exist. They were not happy today. I had a really happy one yesterday. So y'all y'all just like y'all either brought the the bad energy or uh y'all just chose a really bad time. Brush. Why is everyone bored? Quaba Vimps Ziffel. Ah, Laba. Uh, Like, everyone is bored. <laughs> well, I think I'm getting ready to end this episode. We still don't have our job, so that's gonna set us back in that category, but we are already level two of the Master Vampire. And yeah, we're getting a little on our way here. As far as our skills, we did at least start the medium skill. So we got that one going. So we got a little bit done here, but you know we're trying to get to the point where we can get that uh, aspiration. I mean, the job. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna make money until then, but we'll figure it out. I don't know how, but you know, okay, cool. But yeah, yes. At least we've met a few vampires around town at this point. We're starting to get to know some people. It's a really hot day outside. Really bad for vampires. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully, uh, in the next episode, we hopefully maybe we'll get a job. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Uh, <laughs> or at least work on some more of our skills. But anyway, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you look forward to this challenge, that uh, it's a legacy challenge when I've made up the rules myself based off of certain things. Feel free to uh, try and play along. I will have like Velvet's generation rules down in the comments below. And once we're getting close to the second generations, I will also start putting those down there just for anyone who wants to look ahead. But until then, I'm just going to have Velvet's down there. Um, so if you want to try to play along with this, feel free to do. If you do so, let me know. Give, send me screenshots and stuff over on Twitter. I would definitely like to see how things are going. Um, hopefully you're having a better start than I am because, you know, I don't, I wish, other than my aspiration, everything else is looking a little bit grim. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye!